They come out of the locker room at halftime still lollygagging and coughing up the football to open up the third quarter. Are you trying to tell me we got a bunch of lollygaggers down there? We might. I'll tell you, their play has been so uninspired and so bad that it's hard to watch. The Bengals' defense was in danger of giving up points on that last series, Phil, but they came up with the big fourth down stop. But let's be honest, Jim. That was just one bad call by the offense. What were they thinking? Man, that's where the press is going to get all over you when this game's over. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. Brady's now completed his last seven passes. Brought down at the 47-yard line. That's his sixth catch of the day. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. The Ravens come out in a jumbo set. Second down and four. They'll go ground. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up the first down. That's, that's nice. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Tom Brady under center. Brady finds Gronkowski. Falls in on the tackle. The numbers don't lie. This tight end is one incredible presence on that field. Jim, tight ends have such a presence on the field now. You've got to pay these guys just like star wide receivers. Here's the football resting at the 43. The Ravens come out. Jumbo package on the field. Has Austin. He's in the clear. The Bengals will use a timeout here early in the second half. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down at the 15. Gronkowski has it. Balls in on the tackle. The Bengals defense, they really understand situational football. They know they're in the red zone. You can't give up plays. That time they, they give up the completion, but they rally to the football and keep the play to no game. Brady's completion percentage, 80% on the day. The Bengals defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Loss of two on that play. Third down. Just a quick drop back. Finds Reed. Should be an easy one here. Touchdown, Baltimore. Reed's second touchdown of the game. Hey, you got to be on your toes on the defensive side. Always think there could be a fake. This time, the fake, the throw down the field, and that pass leads to a touchdown. Jordan Reed has the reception. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. Balls out. Makes contact with the down player, and that's where the play comes to an end. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. The Ravens step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. The fourth quarter about to begin, and this game is well in hand. It sure is. It's been a, just a total dominant performance. 
a blowout, whatever you want to say. And I give the team a lot of credit. They played well. They had a tremendous game plan on the other side. It's only one game. Go back, start all over again, and this time next week, you could be the team that's on top. Austin spin option one, two, and three on offense today, Phil, as he just keeps piling up receptions at the wideout position. Jim, he just has that special skill. He knows how to get open, and the quarterback is putting... The Bengals' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line, and they tackle the runner for a loss. Second down and 11. Throws the pass. Has it. Touchdown. Bill, we're early in the fourth, and they continue to keep the pedal to the metal. Oh, absolutely. The offensive coordinator, he wants to pad the stats of his offense. Keep putting up those numbers and total yards and watch them rise in the rankings. And, hey, sometimes you got to do that. Is uh, Do what's good for the offensive coach. Tate's got a chance to return this one. The ball's on the ground. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. First down at the 29. It's Brock. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. The Ravens take it from the 23. Reed with the grab. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. This is an awesome job by the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the offense. Just keep picking up those first downs. You got a big lead here in the second half. Keep that clock running. Well, how about that, Jim? Not a surprise. Down the red zone one more time. They're blowing them out. And this offense has been spectacular. What will they do here? You know what? I think they'll just run it and try to end this game. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Ravens official. Rob Gronkowski's injury appears to be related to the upper body. Trainers are saying it is a severe injury, but would not confirm what the injury is at this time. Coming up, second down. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. Three-step drop for a gain of about five. That's his eighth catch of the day. Why would you go with the hurry-up offense when you have a big lead late in the second half? I guess they just want some more work on it in case they need it in the future. Catch made near the sideline. Good job that time by the quarterback. You got a lead in the fourth quarter. Don't take chances. Nobody open down the field, so he throws it short, and he gets a completion. situation like this. This is when I was at my best, getting in the huddle and telling everybody all the things. Put two hands on the football. Don't anybody jump off sides. Don't take any chances. And most of all, stay in bounds. The Ravens taking doubt out of the question early here, Phil. Losing that close game last week. Here, the ball is jarred loose. They recover their own fumble. The offense knows they caught a big break here. After you fumble and recover it and going in to score, you got to feel good now. Take advantage of that opportunity and go in and punch it in for a score. The Ravens break huddle and show a jumbo look. Rashad Perriman with the catch. He'll pick up seven this time. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Third and goal from the nine. 
Brady's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. And he's intercepted. Ball is out. That brings the play to an end. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning the game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. He's brought down. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.